But first, it's 10 p.m., and that means lights out for local bars and restaurants as a new order goes into effect. That's right, Caitlin. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is live in Kansas City. Andres, usually these places would still have customers, but now, what do you see? Now, Gabriela, the customers are gone here at the Quaff. In fact, right now the servers are sweeping and the lights are up. All of this means that they, it is lost business and some owners think that they can't catch a break because of all this. On the weekends, the Mockingbird Lounge in KCK closes at 2 a.m. Those nights are, are what really anchor our entire week. But with the county's latest restrictions ordering bars and restaurants to close at 10 p.m., owner Daniel Castillo anticipates he'll lose 40 to 60 percent of revenue because of the cut in hours. A restaurant that usually closes at 11 and doesn't serve alcohol, they're not going to be as nearly as affected as a late night cocktail bar like we are. Castillo adjusted on the fly during the spring to bring in business, offering to go cocktails and remodeling the bar's patio, doing anything to keep the relatively young business alive. But this is like this an ongoing four years of the grass is always greener on the other side and I just keep hoping that we survive these rough patches. Most restaurant owners we're not saying we don't want to comply with the restrictions or the shutdowns but we're saying if we have to give us some help. The feeling is mutual at the Quaff in downtown Kansas City. I'm worried about it a lot because I'm losing out on hours, and I just don't know what, you know, what kind of money I'm coming in, you know? It's not always guaranteed as like a bartender or a server because they, you know, they rely on those uh, uh, gratuity. The bar says they do their part to contain the spread of COVID-19 and hope the community can do so as well. Just keep following the rules, man. We won't get any more restrictions. Now, the mayor told me the other day that he is working with small businesses to provide some relief as of the onset of this pandemic. Hey, they have distributed more than $3 million. Reporting live in Kansas City tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.